Hello and welcome to Plus TV's Tea Time. On this program, we bring you the latest updates, the latest headlines, and the latest stories from around the world of entertainment. I'm Tukumbo Tairo, and here with me in the studio are my sassy and feisty co-anchors, Lakme Banjo and Ife Oshinke. Hey guys. Hi Tukumbo. Why would you give us a combined intro? What do you mean? What, What's you your want own? your separate intro? Yeah. He's so narcissistic, can you just ignore <laughs> him? <laughs> Before we take our first story, we'll quickly go to our newsroom to get a social media report from our analyst, Buki November. She'll be giving us a report on Uti Unwachuku as he calls out social media beggars and says the platforms uh, aren't created for begging. Hi, Buki. Hi, Tokumbo. So it is about time somebody addressed this issue. In case you don't know, it is called Insta Begging. Who invented that? People just come on your timeline and they start begging for things and they expect you to be kind to them. I don't understand. Anyway, this is what Uti says. He says, everyone has their own wants and needs and family members and loved ones to take care of. Yeah. You can't calculate their money for them and assume they have too much money and call them stingy or selfish. Dear Lord. He then goes on to say, there are levels to life. It is unfair to expect another person to crack their savings just to help you. If they decide to help you, it is totally up to them and their sacrificial persona. These days, almost all beggings are scams and lies. Always remember this. Everyone is different and we all have personal needs and wants. Yes, we do. So you had, we had some people, of course, supporting him and saying, yes, it's true, it's true, it's true. And other people started citing situations where they've been, I think, scammed or they've been, you know, badgered into answering these people. Personally, I also had this um, experience where someone actually got my number off Instagram. They called me and said that, giving me a list of problems he has. And I'm like, dude, sit down. If I tell you the ones I'm going through, if I tell you the ones I'm going through, you will get tired. Anyway, let's go to the comment section. I don't take this personally. Comments, please. I'm sure other celebrities have also been through this, but this is my take on it. Please, Nigerians, if everybody on my timeline, for example, I didn't have that many followers, but if everyone, if everyone on my timeline keeps begging for money and I keep giving, how much go remain now? How much? Anyway, that's all from me to come back to you. All right then, Buki, thanks very much for that uh, quick report. So, who wants to go first? Well, I don't mind. If I do you want to go Ladies first? first. You know I'm a gentleman. Anyway, um, I think this is really interesting. It's good that someone's raised it because people go as far as even like changing their profile pictures, changing their whole Instagram profiles or Twitter just to pretend to be someone else to ask for money. There was the recent case with um, P Square mm -hmm. and El, El Rafai, and El Rafai supposedly asked P Square. <laughs> For money, which is, you know, is ridiculous. But yeah. people will go to any lens just to insta-beg. And you know, I always say we have the terrible begging culture here. And it's almost like people will use whatever platform that they have to beg. to beg. Like, even if it's not on the road, even if it's at work, even... It's just imbibed in the culture and it's really, really bad. Now, um, Uti calling people out. Someone actually once said to me that, that um, if someone gives you 5,000 naira, that is um, so that's about 45% of their income for that day or something so like you shouldn't feel entitled that he only gave me five thousand because actually that's mm -hmm. blood sweat and tears do you know what yeah. i mean so like for you to and everyone here does feel entitled even at the airport the airport is the worst they just assume because you're leaving or, or because you're, you're coming, 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 in, coming in you've come in with a shitload <laughs> With so much money. A blip. <laughs> yes, um, a blip. With, yeah, with a blip, sorry. Um, with so much money. Yeah. And like, or like, because you're leaving, you don't want mm -hmm. your currency anymore. I remember when I came and, you know, I just got like... Bombarded. Yes, bombarded. And, it's right and everyone from the wanted door. us. Yeah. It's from the door. It's for oh. people that sell you the trolleys. Oh. It's the people that check your bag. Everything. It's the immigration. Everyone. It's, it's the um, people that, that are checking security. Yeah. As they're tapping you down. Like, no. And see how fun now. Mm -hmm. You're living, do Christmas for us. Every flipping month is Christmas. 
It's terrible. The can begging I ask culture you though, before I go on to your fair, you know, how do you think this culture can be? Because like you said, it's made imbibed in yeah. the culture. How do you think it can be rectified or if it can be annulled or if it can be in any way, shape or form changed? Do you think that's possible here in Nigeria? I'm asking you, like, wait. Oh, you're we, asking me? I yeah, thought you were asking if it... No, no, no it's, it's I mean, it's something that has to take time because, okay. I mean, it's so much in our culture that even mm -hmm. children learn to do it. I, saw, I was telling you guys, I went to the beach on Sunday mm -hmm. and, like, even though the kids, they're, you know, they're young and oblivious, but they've seen that culture yeah. kind of perpetuate. And, they're now emulating and then they that. emulate that culture and they don't know any better. Mm -hmm. So it it's definitely has to be an education thing. Okay. It needs to stop right from the top and it needs to work the way okay. down. You fair? Um, um, you nodding, I'm like, I'm sure you've got no, something. Like, I'm, I'm agreeing to everything Lakwa is saying because okay. it happens all the time. Everywhere you go to, you find somebody begging. And I understand where Uti is definitely coming from mm -hmm. because there has to be a line. When you don't even give to them, mm -hmm. they now write stuff, stingy man, and you just bought a car. Yeah. yeah. Like, as if you, you came to this world, I have to a live life to of, my, of my own. own. Don't mm -hmm. you think? And I like what Uti said. Uti said, we all have problems. Exactly. You might be looking for money for transport. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for money to buy a car. Exactly. You're looking for money for rent. I'm looking for money to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Do you get like we all have problems and, and do not assume, don't count my money for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll make calculations from what he said. Yes. Don't do the calculations. And How the sad part is, the sad part is you actually feel bad when you don't give it to them as well. Like, obviously, since I've been in Nigeria, I just feel bad when someone asks me for money. And you can't And give. I can't give it to you. And, and you know like, what makes it worse? This cashless society we live in now, when everywhere you go, you can just swipe your card and you purchase whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So most times I don't have cash on me, not mm -hmm. that I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Then you're not getting into traffic. Like, this happened with me and a friend recently. I was driving home and then you know all these kids that clean your yeah. windshield and all that. Yeah. Then they came and then the boy was trying to and I was like, you shouldn't clean the mm -hmm. windshield. And he started singing for me. Oh my god. And I was like, so maybe the guy thought I didn't understand mm -hmm. Yoruba. Jige. And I wound down. And then he would now start singing another song and everything. And I was like, I did something, but not for TV. No, but honestly, no, <laughs> but and, and it was just is, very, very frustrating. And the like, thing is, in that and situation, they think it is entitlement. Yeah, entitlement. Because nobody asked you to clean the window. You came, threw your stupid bottle on the windscreen, and decided now that I must pay but, you. But, but, in another view, mm -hmm. these kids are less privileged. Okay. These kids do not have the same upbringing as we do. Can I just tell you these something? These kids, hold up do not have the things we do. And sometimes, no, I know no, people no, that, guys, wait, wait, guys, hold on. I know, I don't want on. us to digress, because people, we're talking about Uti wait, wait, now, wait, 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 hold yeah, on. Influence I know way. people that actually have, but will never give to beggars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm against that. Because if you have, please give. No, but then Help when you can. I'm not Look, saying it I, has to be you know every what, we, time. When we talked about this begging the last time, I said it and I'm still saying it again. I think, you know, giving is entitled to that particular person. Yeah. They have their own right. If they want to give, they sure. will give, you know. You, you don't shouldn't have expect to... it. You exactly. shouldn't expect it. If it happens... Some then... people demand it as so if it's I'm, a right. Yeah. Regardless. I'm totally on Uti's side. I support everything he said. Mm -hmm. 100 and if, if we recall Olami they said the same thing last yeah, week true, you understand true. so yeah. it's something that it's there and like like we said it's embedded in our culture and people think it is the it's okay the, 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 the rights okay. and this is why oh, can I just add one last yeah. point one last and this point. is why I'm saying about the whole when you said oh yeah it's a privilege and non-privilege that's irrelevant because there's mm -hmm. people that stand in traffic yeah. with their arm cut off mm -hmm. yeah. and they and they sell and they and there's kids that go to school and come back and still hawk exactly. like there's so many ways to you not cheat your, your child that that's mm -hmm. the easy way out exactly. don't get me wrong these kids are well, I don't understand when you say it's embedded in our culture we can't keep it's, 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 it's not it's not embedded it's not embedded I need one person to finalise Nigerian culture because we anybody watching would think it's a Nigerian culture thing for them. And everybody that knows what agree. It is not a Nigerian culture. culture. It what is, is it not then? What do you want us to call it? I didn't say it was no, our just, culture. Just, what do you want us to call it? It's it? just yeah. the minority because of all of the countries that I've been to. No, 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 the countries I've been to. This is the minority. Oh, come on. Don't even say that. Are you telling me they don't beg in London? All right, then, guys. We have to leave it there. We'll take a quick break right now, but don't you worry. We'll be back before you know it. From day one, Glow makes life easier. They brought us unbelievable data packages and even an optic fiber cable to make sure we optimize. There are two things in our lives we depend on the communication and information, voice and data. Whether you sell, buy, learn, teach, serve, or lead, 
it really comes out those two things, voice and data. Today's world is all about you. You want what you want, how you want it, and Glow delivers. That's why Glow is introducing Flex, the freedom to use voice and data the way you like on every recharge. No plan, no hassle, easy. Now, on every recharge, Glow Flexi automatically gives the freedom to use voice and data as you like. At the best rates in town, no plan, no hassle. The Grandmasters of Data, Glow. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Up next is a story on American actor Brad Pitt, who says he's not looking to leap into any serious relationship right now. So, uh, where do we even start? His exes or his, <laughs> his, his last relationship? Start from the last court order. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's finally allowed to see his kids now. So yeah. he's just been to London. I think. And come I back. think. Yeah. So I think that is where we should even start from. Okay. Is this coming out now? Mm -hmm. Because he just started seeing his kids all of a sudden, and he thinks, "Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing for me to spend time." So I don't want to get into any relationship. Or is this how he has always been? No. no. First of all, Brad Pitt is a very, very good-looking man, and he has women flocking at, around him all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, he's saying this. Would you let him though? No. No. Mm? Sorry? No. What? Not in a million years. I don't believe you. Sorry. He's just, he's just not my type. How is... Okay. Why are you always lying? I wouldn't let Brad Pitt, like... So who would you let, though? Me, yeah, of among course. The stars, Come on, man. Among Come the on. American stars. Idris Elba. Oh, okay. he's, not Eng he's not American. Okay. Oh, are you doing a race thing here? All right, I'm then. not. You Carry said on. You said American. I said he's not American. He's English. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Bradley Cooper. Okay. Um, Bozeman. Chadwick Boseman, no. Yeah? No, I Michael don't think. Michael B. Jordan. Exactly. Definitely. Okay. Mm. Definitely. Oh, you like them sporty, yeah? Anyway, as yeah, you were saying. likes them looking like me. Get over yourself <laughs> right now. <laughs> but no, the reason why it's come at this time is because um, he said, well, in, in, the, in the statement, what he said was that mm -hmm. actually he feels like he's... Um, comfortable in terms of his profession and in terms of his family he feels very very comfortable so right now he's not really looking to like set. and if i might be right it might just because he's just seen his kids he's just just about to film is it once upon a yeah once upon a time yeah he's, about, he's about to film once upon... so obviously everything's quite like balanced for him at the moment mm -hmm. so if he is going to have some sort of love interest it might not be as serious he's just do you not think serious. though that you know um his separation from um angelina might have um you know, sort of, um, he might have exactly that to the point that he just thinks, okay, let him take a step back and, you know. I thought of that too, yeah. because. But um, you guys are both guys, you can answer that question. If a guy has been in a really, really serious relationship, mm -hmm. right, and then the relationship has ended and it hasn't ended on good terms, yeah. what's the natural progression? I think he's going Preach. to be weary. Weary of, Weary you know, or like go on Preach. a spree with anyone. Preach. Like, because he said well, anything that comes next Preach. will be. Go on. Preach. Yeah, go on. Preach. Advocate. Okay. First, if you're getting up, a relationship you were really into, like if you were really into the girl, mm -hmm. which obviously Brad was into at Jolly mm -hmm. and Jolly. Yeah, they were married. There's no way you're going to get over so easy. Easily. Mm -hmm. I know how long it took me to get over my ex. It's Your not poor about. Ex. This girl better just say sorry to you. You're constantly. If you're out there, you better give him some accolades because he's always talking about you. He really wants to get back. I don't want back you back. Lies. Huh? Lies. Sorry, you, said the, you said you want her back the other day. The Let's get back to Brad, please, because I'm okay. done talking about if there's love life. Okay, <laughs> so back to Brad. It's a very difficult situation when you're actually in love with somebody and then you guys have a breakup, especially when you have kids. When you see these kids, you constantly get reminded of your relationship, mm -hmm. of what it took for you to make these beautiful kids. Oh, I can't help but say this though, then. Do you think <laughs> that's what happened with Jennifer? Was it Jennifer Aniston? Yeah, they didn't same. have kids, did they? No, but Brad, So do you think that's what happened? He, he was, was able to quickly move? <laughs> yeah, he was, it was, an he was already started. Rebounding. <laughs> he was rebounding. So oh. definitely, it's going to be difficult for Brad to move on. And I don't think Angelina will be moving on anytime soon herself. You never know. You never speak for that woman. She is wild. You never speak for a woman. See, that is where I'm always right. This girl ain't loyal. <laughs> you right, see? Um, our next story, what were you going to say before I move on to our next story? Don't finalize. Give him the opportunity to finalize what he's <laughs> finalize. About to say. Yeah. Get one line. Loyal. One, one line. word. One word. It's getting one letter. It's getting shorter and shorter. L. <laughs> All right, then. Our next story is an American rapper and singer, Nelly, who it has been reported has stopped supporting his dad financially uh, due to his lack of uh, loyalty. What Do you know when I saw loyalty, about? I was thinking um, stop supporting his wife due to lack of loyalty. 
<laughs> Sorry, it's gone right over my head. He's, you know, in the last um, episode, he was talking about girls not being loyal and them oh, cheating. Right. Oh, so oh. when he saw <laughs> that Nelly called his dad not lo disloyal, he mm -hmm. assumed that it was going to be about Nelly's wife. Right. Just because he assumes that all women aren't loyal. Not all women. I have a beautiful mother. Mama, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you are ridiculous. All right, so back to this, um, back to Nelly. What's the situation with, with his dad then? Okay, so he's saying that the fact that it's your DNA mm -hmm. doesn't mean you know what it means to be a father. It's true. Because it's like so, yeah. his, his dad left him while he was a child. His yeah, dad or, was not around or throughout was not his around. childhood. Yeah. He didn't learn how to ride a bike from his dad. Mm -hmm. He didn't learn how to games. play football from mm -hmm. his dad. The generic You know, story. the basics of growing up with a father. He never mm -hmm. had that opportunity. Okay. And for the past 20 years, he mm -hmm. has been supporting him financially. And he says he has been... Um, what word did he say? Disloyal. Did he, no, no, no. He said he has been... Um, Supporting his lifestyle, funding his lifestyle, mm -hmm. meaning his dad actually has a frivolous lifestyle where he spends a lot and all okay. that, and he's not doing that anymore. But he didn't tell us why he came on Twitter mm -hmm. to. Okay, drop let, me, this. let me ask you, you know, what do you think the dad has done now to make uh, Nelly act this way? Well, the only thing I found when I was digging up was mm -hmm. that there's some sort of correlation between Ashanti, Ashanti yeah. okay. the dad, and mm -hmm. Nelly. Obviously, we all know that Ashanti and Nelly dated for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And in that, post, in that space of time, she's obviously got to know the dad. Now, there's been a picture that's gone viral of Ashanti with. Nelly's dad, dad. Mm -hmm. and yeah. suddenly he's come out and said all these things and then called his dad disloyal. Yeah. So it must be the fact that, you know, his dad is probably warming up to Ashanti a lot more, right. even though, okay. you know, he he's funding his lifestyle. Bad blood between them. Yeah, but what I want to know is why choose to fund your dad? It's a bit like Drake. Like, mm -hmm. all of their dads were absent. Like, it's a generic black American kind of family, dysfunctional family mm -hmm. story, right? And he, oh, by the way, he gave a shout out to his mum as Sorry, he was... you were going to ask a question. Why do they, or why... What was Yeah, he? why do, like, a lot of um, celebrities, even though they had no contact with their parents when they were young, their parents mm -hmm. were absent, their uh -huh. dads most of the time, uh -huh. why do they suddenly just fund their lifestyle? Like, Drake does it. Do you know what it. I believe? Do you know... Lamar Odom did it. Yeah. Um, do you know what I think that Would you is? not do it, though, yeah. if you were in their shoes? If my dad, which my dad isn't, my dad's amazing, mm -hmm. but if my dad wasn't... In, excuse me, wasn't present in my life and mm -hmm. had no contribution to my mm -hmm. success. Yeah. Hell no! Hell no! You no. never you can know, tell, it's, though. It's easier for you to money. say this now. Listen, yeah, I'm telling you, when Another it thing is, when, it's not even about the money. When you're yeah. in the public high yeah. and people are looking up to you and you're starting to have your own kids, mm -hmm. you tend to appreciate what it means to be a father and then you have people looking up to you out there Look, let that me tell expect you, guys, you, can't, you can't to listen, be an example. Listen, listen. How are you going to tell people you to show love first, to their parents no, no, if you are not, not showing not, love to their parents? It's not about preaching an advocacy. It's, it's, it's not. About it's, not. it's about the reality. Now. And for me... No, listen, this is the reality. Listen, let me hear what she has to say. He asked me a question. He said, what would I do if I was in that position? And I'm telling you what I would do. For me, you were not there. You didn't contribute to anything that, you know, that made me successful. You didn't contribute financially yeah. Um, um, emotionally, emotionally, or uh, like mm. you know, in um, any way, shape, in any or way, form. shape or form, exactly. Well, it's still so your why dad, that, it regardless, no, and then it comes and that's back what to they, beg that's you. That's about eventually, issue. and I think that's yeah. why they always help it's eventually. Yeah. Your dad, and then so, maybe the woman you love so much, your mother, mm -hmm. tells no. you just forgive. If my mom had to be, listen to if your my mom, mom had to and then there are people you have fans now. Conscience also speaks, I think. Conscience also speaks. But you have fans now. Even you're saying now, you have fans. Are you going to rap about the song telling them to show? I'm talking about the fans. I'm talking about about no, it's why, why, didn't, why, didn't why didn't the Biggie? Why didn't Biggie and Tupac oh. go and reach out to their? Well, actually, Tupac knows his dad. Why didn't Biggie <laughs> go and find his dad and give him all the money? He didn't go and find. I don't think all these guys went to look for their fathers. I think their fathers just saw face suddenly out of nowhere because yeah. I'm rich. Why yeah. should I give you the money? No. Yeah, that's, that's the why some people. Part. That's why some people are still estranged from their fathers at the moment. But yeah. I, what I'm saying is that over time, eventually, it gets to them and they can't help but you know support their family because at the end of the day, blood is thicker and than besides, water. And besides, man, it's money like it's yeah. paper. It, exactly. Exactly, it's not that. And if they've got it's enough, they might as well. Yeah, anyway, if you have enough, it's uh, still to come on Afternoon Tea Time, we've got a story on popular Nollywood actor, your me fash. But before that, it's a quick break and we'll be right back. Thinking of banking in Africa, think Zenith. In today's fast-moving, fast-changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world. With the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly, whenever, wherever, however. A bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch. For easy, fast and secure banking. 
that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People, technology, service. Zenith Bank, in your best interest. If you're just joining us, you're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Up next is our next and final story, and it's on Hollywood actor Yomi Fash, who reports say has written an open letter to President Buhari over killings in Nigeria. So I'd barely call it a letter. It was more of like a an open forward, a forward. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, it was just like a, True. It wasn't really a letter. But he was saying it was supposed to be a letter, letter. and that yeah. since he knew it wouldn't be delivered, he would rather do it. Well, you know what? I'm not going to talk on this subject matter before you guys say I'm advocating again. So I'm just going to let Lakwe take this one. No, feel free to counter. You do it anyway. But um, No, I'm not going to counter you because I'm in support of it. Are you going to speak against him? Who? Yomi Fashlanzo? No. Exactly. So okay. you're, this Nollywood actor um, has basically said that he's ashamed that he actually supported President Buhari's, mm -hmm. when was he come to power? Campaign. 2016 yeah. campaign. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that everything that he campaigned for hasn't been done. And he focused a lot on security and safety because we've all heard about the, the numerous amounts of massacres in the north. Exactly. The insurgency and the recent in the one in Plato Yeah, State. and now it's becoming, you know, a religious and sectarian issue, mm -hmm. violence, tribal, and, and it's almost like... So he's basically asking President Buhari all these questions, but he's coupled it with really, really graphic photos of young children yeah. I had a look and Instagram I was like, oh my God. Yeah, they picture. should take that picture down. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, at the same time, picture. it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's mm -hmm. meant to invoke emotion. And it's mm -hmm. meant to invoke rage. And how yeah. can this be going on? And actually, in the Plato killings, mm -hmm. the majority of people that died were women and children. Mm -hmm. So, and the most of the pictures I've seen have been of kids, babies, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. being massacred for what? Like, oh, it should, like, Lord. really, really, like kind of drive the message home. Yes, absolutely. And suddenly, you know, it just shows how, how important social media is at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I was speaking to someone the other day and she was just, you know, making noise about we're not doing anything, we're just ranting on mm -hmm. social media and that's the kind of general notion mm. amongst young people. Okay. But when you do stuff like that, it actually creates the awareness. If It might not be a direct impact, mm -hmm. but it's yeah. indirect because okay. at the end of the day, he's now said, that, um, you know, the whole SARS, yeah. the mm -hmm. SARS thing now, mm -hmm. Buhari's just come out and saying so he's exactly reviewing SARS. And, yeah. But yeah. that was as a result of videos coming mm -hmm. out, hashtags, yeah, people yeah, talking yeah, about it, people yeah. sharing their experiences. Mm -hmm. Even though yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even though we're not directly doing something, that's mm -hmm. an indirect form of getting it okay. done. All right, let me quickly go to uh, Ifair. What's your take on Am this? Am I whole... allowed to advocate? Sorry? Am I allowed to advocate? Advocate for whom? Before you advocate, I really want your opinion. Then you can advocate. Okay, I really appreciate um, Yomi Fash coming to do this and um, Tagging, you know, he had the nerve to tag the president as well. Yeah, as if you that's get... a nerve. But why can't he tag the? Pre Sorry, I'm just, I'm just clutching <laughs> it. But why shouldn't he tag the no, president? No, but no, you know, if this was. Well, let's have a quick regime, look, you know, and go back, guys. Have, has anyone tagged the dangerous. president in the past? I don't think anyone's written. No, so he's like, it's the first time. Yeah, to yeah. Tag. So he, so he is right. Well, he had the nerve say, to do it. Let's say we don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Okay. But at least he's the only one I know that's tagged yes. the president. Yes. Okay. So, so for him to tag it required, the president, he, he did have some nerve. Yeah, he did yeah. have some nerve. Okay. And then everything he spoke about was so true. As in, Bwari, because Bwari's administration, they're kind of like blaming some politicians that they are behind all these killings and all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. So man, all these politicians were people that came into power under your administration, you have the sovereign authority to, to, to take actions and you're not taking no action and then you're looking for who to blame. Trust me, there is nobody to blame apart from the ruling government. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you understand? All right. I, I wish we had more time to talk about this, but unfortunately, it's a wrap on the show. But before I go, a big thank you to my able and capable co-anchors, Ife Oshinkeya and Elakme Banjo. And I most certainly can't leave out the entire production team as well. Join us in the morning for another brilliant episode. Until then, I'm Tekumbo Taiwo saying thanks for watching and have yourself a good evening. Mm -hmm.